everyone, it's Nathan from Got Game here with a quick workout for you to do at home with little to no equipment at all. You're able to do this with your mum, dad, brothers, sisters, whoever. It's so important that even during this time we are still always, always moving our body, okay? It keeps us healthy both inside and out. And this workout is designed for anyone. You can use it from kindergarten all the way up to year six. We're going to be doing what's called a circuit workout designed to get your body moving and active and get your heart rate increasing. I have five stations set up. Okay, for each station, you're gonna be performing the exercise for 30 seconds, and then you're going to be resting for 10. We're gonna aim for three laps of our circuit, so each exercise you'll be doing three times. I've got a clipboard and some paper with me, as you can see and I'm going to be writing down my score for each station and I want you to see if you can beat me. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so our first exercise is the shoulder tap. This is a great workout to strengthen our core. For this one, you'll need to hold what's called the plank position. As you can see, I'm standing on my toes, palms on the ground, elbows and back straight. From here, you're going to bring your arm to the opposite shoulder, do the same with the other arm. How many can you do? Okay, so we're moving on to our next exercise now. Uh, we have a few options here. So you can use hula hoops like I have. You can draw circles on the ground with chalk. You can use cones or you could use nothing at all. So what we need to do is complete four motorbike jumps there and back. We're gonna be landing on both our feet, bending our knees, keep your arms out in front with a nice straight back. So when you have made it to the end and then back again, that is one complete lap. All right, now we are up to exercise three and I call this one over the bucket. Now, normally I'd use a hurdle for this activity, but since most of us won't have one of those at home, I'm just using a regular old laundry bucket. So what you need to do is stand on the side of the bucket, legs shoulder width apart and jumping straight over the top, bending your knees to soften the landing. Then you're going to jump straight back over as many times as you can in 30 seconds. Okay, so exercise four is called the bucket toss. So here is my setup. There's some cones marking where we can shoot from and then where we move the bucket each time we score a goal. Okay, you can use any kind of ball. I'm using a jelly ball at the moment, but you could also use a basketball, even a soccer ball. So what you need to do is you need to aim for the bucket. Two options, either make a W with your hands on the side of the ball and do a W style shot eyes are looking at the target, pushing out nice and high from our chest. Another option is that our legs shoulder width apart, keep your knees bent for balance. One hand is on the side of the ball, the other underneath. Eyes looking at the target, elbow bent in that L shape, and then when you shoot, extending out, follow through with your fingers pointing downwards to the ground. So if you get it in, you move the bucket to the next cone, and then one more time, move it again. After you do that, reset and see how many times you can complete three shots in a row. All right, we are up to our final exercise. Amazing job so far, girls and boys. And this activity is a simple sprint from one cone to the other. My cones are spaced five meters apart. So again, you don't really need cones. You just need two items that can be used for a start and a finish marker. So when we are sprinting, we want to remember to keep those knees nice and high. We are pushing off the balls of our feet with our arms bent going from your backside up to your cheek. All right, so I wanna see how many times you can get from one cone to the other in 30 seconds. Okay, girls and boys, we are finished. Be proud of yourself. That was an amazing effort from all of you. Here are my scores for the three laps. Were you able to beat me? Congratulations if you did. Thank you for watching and remember, let's stay active, let's keep on moving and let's keep on having fun.